this is the part two of uh, of how to become a private investigator. Yeah, so there are private investigators out there that, that that will never hire a new a new private investigator because you don't have the skills. Yeah, but then the question is, how are you going to get the skills if nobody hires you? Then it's simple: train yourself, read, watch videos. YouTube had thousands of videos regarding private investigations and how to conduct surveillance. Learn the process, yeah? Read as much as you can and then sell yourself. Once you gain the knowledge, sell yourself to all the private investigators. Tell them that you want to do a few cases for them for free. Believe me, that is not a waste of time. It's an investment. I have done it hundreds of times. On different on different levels and different countries when I want to show people my skills I'm not the greatest private investigator on earth okay I'm not I'm not trying to sound cocky but I'm good at what I do yeah all the people might have different opinion of me because they have different skills maybe they were properly trained uh, from an institution like police or, or army uh, so they will judge me based on based on what they think is, is, is right and I really don't care yeah if people judge my skills based on what they know man that's unfair yeah I will never judge a new private investigator based on my skills because I got over 22 years doing this so I will never judge that Everybody learns at different uh, pace, and everybody is at a different level in life, yeah? Yeah, I've done this a long time. I've been around a long time, so I know how to do my job. Yeah, I might not do it to, to a standard, maybe new country or in another country, but that's how it is. That's how it is. Um, so don't let anybody tell you that that all oh, your skills are not up to par, you know, you don't have enough skills. You just keep on learning, reading, learning, watching videos, asking questions. Doesn't matter, just continue learning.